Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're going to be sewing the lower leg edge, um, and we'll also be working on the crotch. Um, these um, making these little line bloomers. This is probably the most challenging on um, two steps in creating it. Now the pattern tells me to place the lining inside the outer shorts with the right sides touching. So um, I've got my backs lined up um, on the right hand side um, and my fronts lined up on the front hand side. So let me get this lining inside. Okay, it tells me to line up, let's see, the side seams and to sew, leaving the crotch unsewn. So I'm going to line up my side seams I've got, this says back here, and on the inside it says back on the, so I'm, I'm making sure I'm not accidentally sewing the, sewing the pieces together wrong. Okay, now I'm going to come down here to the crotch end, line up the two crotches, and then since this leg opening is cut a little bit on a curve, I'm going to ease my fabric into place and pin it about every inch and a half or two inches. You know how I like pins. Okay, so just ease that fabric in along. Well, you know, I cut these pieces together so they really, and, and I maintained my quarter inch seam allowances so they really should fit together nicely. Okay, so let me go over here to the back crotch, line up my crotch corner, and pin that into place. And then ease that leg opening. I'm gonna start easing it from the side seam and ease that into place and pin it And then I'll sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance. Oops. Okay. Now I'm gonna sew along the seam and then I'll repeat this process on the other leg opening. Just maintain, let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit, open up that crotch where I can see what I'm doing. Um, zigzag, well not zigzag, go back, tack it into place by going back and forth and then maintain the quarter inch seam allowance along this leg opening. take my pins out as I come to them. Okay, keep that seam opened up when you sew across it, the side seam.
one leg sewn. Now I'm gonna have to turn this and this has a little bit of a curve and I have discovered that when making these little shorts, see how that leg is curved a little bit? Um, it needs to go around. So um, about every one inch, I'm gonna cut a notch in my seam. Okay, this will take me a minute to get all these notches cut. So I'll be right back. And then I need to repeat this process on the other leg. Okay, so I have both of my lower leg seams sewn. And like I said, um, I went ahead and notched that gentle curve um, about every one inch because when I have made these in the past, um, it turns a little more smoothly um, and will lay much more flat um, if that gentle curve is notched. Now the instructions tell me to press the seam toward the lining. So I'm not gonna press that seam open. I'm gonna press it toward the lining. Repeat with the other leg, then turn right side out. Press the leg edges after aligning the top edge of the bloomers. And the bloomers will wrap um, under to the inside. Okay, so let me go to the ironing board um, and do my pressing that I need to do. Okay, so I'm at the ironing board and I'm pressing the seam um, toward the lining side of the bloomers. Um, and as you see here, um, this works a lot better to get it pressed neatly all the way to the crotch if I use my little miniature ironing board. Um, these little miniature ironing boards, um, I think they used to be available at some of the big box stores. Uh, but, you know, um, I think I ordered mine um, from Amazon. But when you're making little tiny baby clothes, um, I find that some of the pieces are so small that I really do use my little miniature ironing board quite often. Okay, so I have that seam nicely pressed toward the lining side of the bloomers. So I'm going to take it off the little miniature ironing board, set that off to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my bloomers right side out and push the crotch through. And then it says to line up the tops of the shorts. We line up that side seam and I'll put it on my big ironing board now. Let me see if I can make sure that I'm in focus here. Okay. All right, so I'm lining up the top of my bloomers. And as you can see, the blue just by about one eighth of an inch curves to the inside. So let me line these top of the bloomers up all the way along. And then I'm gonna very gently, I'm going to press the bottom seam of the bloomer. And I'll do that all the way to the crotch on both legs. Let me line up my tops. And press the legs of the bloomers. Just give it a good press. This is Imperial Batiste, so I gotta give it a good little press because it has a little bit of polyester in it, so it doesn't press quite as quickly and crisply as Swiss Batiste. But on the other, other end of the spectrum, um, it doesn't wrinkle as much. Let 
Okay, so let me press the other end. Okay, now I need to repeat this process for the other leg. And then we'll be back at the sewing machine again. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back from the ironing board. I'm back at the sewing machine. And my leg seams are sewn and they're pressed. And once again, the blue fabric um, wraps to the inside by about one eighth of an inch. Now it's time to do this tricky little um, crotch sewing. So let me turn the bloomers to where they don't match up or they're, you know, they're not um, wrapped up inside of here. Now I'm going to stretch my side seams down and my center seams are toward me. Now I'm going to reach in. Let's see, I think I need to have this inside out. Let me turn this again. Okay, so um, the right sides are now together on the inside. Okay, now I'm going to reach up and pull my crotch up like a little pyramid. So see how that is kind of like a little pyramid in the center of the fabric? And then I'm going to reach in, grab the other crotch, the one that's down below, and bring it up also. So now I have a crotch pyramid with both of my crotches. Can you see that? Okay, so they don't tell you that in the instructions to lay it flat with the side seams on the ends, but it works out real well for me. Okay, now I'm going to very carefully, starting at the seams, I'm gonna line up my seams, my front seam, my front center seam, and my back center seam and I'm gonna put a pin in there, keeping the seams opened up. Then I'm gonna come around here to the lining side and I'm gonna line up my front center seam and my back center seam and put a pin in there. Now I'm gonna rotate 90 degrees and come around here to the side and I'm going to maintain where my seam is facing towards the lining. I'm going to print, I'm going to pin that seam into place. Then I'm going to rotate it around 180 degrees. And on the other leg seam, I'm going to maintain the seam pressed toward the lining and pin that. And then just because, since I like to pin, I'm gonna ease in my pieces and put a pin in between each of the seam pieces. And then it tells us to sew this in a circle. in one more section. Just ease that into place. And all of our seams, front, fr the fronts and the sides are all matched up. Okay, now I'm going to fold this at the legs. So now my crotch seam, my crotch pyramid is up above. And sewing it from the inside, it's like a little volcano. I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam along this circle. Just start somewhere along the edge of that crotch seam. Um, and so take the pins out as you come to them, but sew it all the way around the circle. I'm gonna go kind of slow. Take pins out as you come to them. We got a lot of pins in there.
Okay, when you get back to where you start, just kind of overlap by about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch. And then I'll clip my threads. And once again, you know, if I lay this out, if you think about this as being a crotch pyramid or even like a little volcano, I have sewn around the mouth of the volcano. Now, when I bring my shorts, my, my out, outer edge, when I bring it back around, the bloomers are now inside. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go use my miniature ironing board, and I'm going to press my seams um, into place. So I'll go to the ironing board and I'll do that. But as you can see, the crotch is now sewn and the shorts um, have their lining on the inside. Okay, I've been to the ironing board and I've pressed my crotch. And what I did, rather than trying to open that seam up, I simply pressed the seam um, to one side. Um, and it really doesn't matter which side you press it to, just so long as all the way along the inside in the lining and the outside, the seam is going in the same direction all the way around. But um, in the next video, we'll begin to work on the elastic casing um, on the legs. Uh, because we need to get the casing created and the elastic in before we can start working on the waistband. But in this video, we were sewing the leg hole openings and sewing um, the crotch seam. Thank you.